So over here on the right, I'm signed in as Zach at portexe.com, and on the left, I'm signed in as Bob. So if I go under here and I type in a message, you can see that the, uh, the message updates over here for Bob, but we don't get a little notification that says, hey, you have an unread message. So for the user, they may not notice that, the, that they have a new message, and if they have a bunch of messages, they won't notice at all. So it's really important to show the user that they have an unread message. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna minimize this window and I'm gonna have my code open here up on the left. I'm also gonna shrink my browser window so you can see the code a little better. And I wanna kinda of remind you of something. So I'm gonna to go to my dashboard component here and I'm gonna to go to where we're submitting the message. We have this receiver has read. Whenever we set a new message, we're adding this, we're creating this field called receiver has read and we're setting it to false by default. So what we want to do is if the message is read, if the other person has read the message, we want to set this to true. So the way we're going to think about this is whenever a message gets sent, there will be this receiver has read. And there is also a sender, and it shows the person who sent the message. And we only care about the, the person who's not the sender in this case. So the person who's not the sender, if the person who is not the sender has read the message, then we want to go ahead and set this to true. If the person who is the sender reads the message, we don't really want to switch this over to true. So we're gonna want a function called, we'll go ahead and call it clicked chat where not sender. And it's gonna accept an index. And we are going to make this function tell us whether or not a person has clicked a chat where they are not the sender. So in other words, if you are the person who sent the message and you click on the message, this should be false. If you are not the person who sent the message and you click on the message, this should return true. So how are we gonna achieve this? I'm actually gonna change this to be chat index instead of index. What we're gonna do is we're gonna access the chat. So we're gonna say this.state.chats and the, oops, and the index that we pass into this function, so chat index, Oops, chat index. Hold on, there we go, chat index. And we wanna access the messages of this message that we clicked on, so the messages property. Now here's the thing, we want the very last message that was sent, so it would be the very last messages in this message is array. So in order to get the very last one, we have to go ahead and say this.state.chats, and again, chat index dot messages dot length minus one and that'll give us the very very last one so we want the sender of that message and we want to just make sure that that, that is not equal to this dot state dot email so it will be false if the sender is the current user and true otherwise all right, so we have this function now. We're gonna be able to use this inside of our message red function. So we're gonna create this message red function. And inside of it, we are gonna check whether or not the user clicked chat where they are not the sender. And if they are not the sender, we're going to go ahead and update that receiver has read variable. If they are the sender, we're just not gonna do anything. So we'll create the message red function. And we need to get the doc key, the document key for Firebase. So we're gonna say const doc key, and we have this build doc key function here. But as you can see, it takes the friend's username, and right now we don't have you know instant access to that. So we're gonna say this dot build doc key, and for the friend, we're going to have to perform a little bit of logic in order to figure out who the friend's username is or what the friend's username is. So this dot state dot chats. So we want the current chat that they clicked on and we're not really passing it as a argument here. So how are we going to access this? Well, we can use the this.state.selectedChat since it's the index. And so now we have the current chat that we have selected. And then we want to access the users array. Now we have access to the users array, which we know is just our friend's username and our username. And we want to filter it. And for each user, we want to return an array with only one item in it where the user is not equal to this.state.email. And I put a forward slash by accident. And we want to go ahead and send back the zero index of that. So now we have our doc key. Now, underneath this, we want to go ahead and check whether or not the user 
clicked where they're not the sender. So if this dot clicked message where not sender, and we want to pass in the current chat index, so we'll say this dot state dot selected chat, selected chat, and if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and update that receiver has read variable. So we'll say Firebase dot Firestore dot collection. We know the collection's name is chats, chats dot doc, and we have the doc key now, so we can say doc key dot update. And here we only want to update one parameter, and that is receiver has read, and we want to go ahead and update that to be true. So let's see here. If in the case that it's the, you know, the user, you click a message that you are the sender, I just want to log that so we can at least see that it works properly in the other case. So clicked message where the user was the sender. Cool. So let's see the last. So I'm going to just type some stuff click that. Okay. So we don't, we're not yet actually implementing this message red function. So we should go ahead and do that. Um, there's two places where we want to implement this. We want to implement it when the user clicks on the message here, or if they're inside of the message already and they get an unread notification, we want to go ahead and set it to red when they click inside of here as well. So let's go ahead and do this. So we already know in the dashboard, we actually have a function that gets called whenever we select a chat. So let's go ahead and put it inside of there. Let's go ahead and after we set the state, let's actually await that. So let's come in here and say await, or uh, we got to put async. And we want to await this, so await. And the reason why is because inside of the message read function, if we scroll down, you can see we're actually using a state variable inside of the function that is that we're actually updating here. So in other words, we want to make sure that this selected chat chat index thing finishes before we call message read. So we'll put await, and then we'll say this dot message read. And now whenever they click on a chat over here, whenever user selects a chat, it will go ahead and um, update the state and then call this dot message read. So now that we have this here, let's go ahead and I'm going to actually log something and it looks like I misspelled the word where. So let's just fix that really quick. So since I know I was the person that sent this message right here, I will expect that this gets logged in the console whenever I click on this message. So I'm going to go ahead and click inspect and let's see what happens when I click on this message. Cool. It gives us what we expected. Clicked message where the user was the sender. So let's actually go ahead and click the message where I wasn't the sender. So in order to do that, I'll actually have to go ahead and open up my other window and I'll send a message. Hello. And I click save and then I'm going to clear this and I'm going to click on the message here and you can see we no longer get that message logged. So we know that we probably actually updated the Firebase database as expected. So I just wanted to come over here to my Firebase console and see if it did in fact update as expected. And I scroll down here, you can see receiver has read is true. So we know for a fact it's working properly. So let's move on. So I'm going to go over to my chat list component. So go ahead and go into yours as well. You can see at the top that we have these two unused imports and that's what we're going to start using now. We're going to use notification important, which is an icon. And then we're also going to use list item icon to put the icon inside of. So let's go below, let's find, so list item item, or I'm sorry, list item text. Below list item text, but still inside of list item, we're going to put two curly braces and we already have the chat. So if the chat dot receiver, receiver has red is equal to false. And also, let's see, we don't have, we need a, we need another function really quick. So I'm just going to leave this empty and I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to write a quick function that is called user is sender. Because just like in the dashboard, when we are inside of the chat list, we don't want to show the icon. We don't really want to show the icon unless the unread message is relevant to the person who it's unread to. I hope that makes sense. So I don't want to confuse you, but basically if the message is still unread, but you are the sender, you don't really need to see the icon. If the message is unread and you're the person who's supposed to read the message, that's the person who needs to see the icon. So we'll come into here and inside of user is sender. We want to go ahead and pass the chat and we will say chat dot messages. 
and the chat.messages.length minus one so that we get the very last one dot sender is equal to this dot props props dot user email so all this is doing is it's checking to see whether or not the person is the sender if the person who's currently logged in is the sender of the latest message so now that we have this function we can come back up to the top here and we can finish what we were doing right here so chat dot receiver has read if that is equal to false and not this dot user is sender in the current chat, then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a list item icon. So list item icon. And inside of this list item icon container, we're going to put in notification important. So notification important. All right, so now we have this, but we want to give it a class name. So class name is equal to, and we have the class already, so classes dot unread, unread message. There we go, cool. So I'll save this. Oh, and I need to, after this, I need to put a colon null, just so we can pass null in the case that this is actually, this doesn't uh, come to true. So I'll save this, and as expected, we should not see the icon here. But what happens if I come over, let's see, let's see, let's, I gotta open the other window, cool. So I'll refresh this page right here. And inside of the one where Zach is logged in, I'm gonna send a message, I'm gonna say da 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 da. And now you can see that this unread message icon appears. So what happens when I click it? I click it and it goes away because now the message is read. But look, I'm inside of the chat, I can respond. And then if Zach responds, you see, I click inside of here, you see the unread message. I click inside of here, I would expect that to go away because obviously you've read it if you're getting ready to type. But it's not going away. It only goes away right now if we click it right here because we only set it up there. So we also need to set up that same functionality within the chat text box component. So let's move on to that. So I'll minimize this window. And if you remember inside of the chat text box component, we actually have a user clicked input function already set up. And so far, all we're doing is logging clicked input. So what we need to do is inside of the dashboard, we need to find the message read function right here and pass that as a prop into the chat text box component, which we'll call message read fn is equal to, and we'll just say this dot message read. Save it, and then inside of chat text box component, we'll use that right now, this dot props dot message read fn, and we'll call that function immediately and I'll save it and let's see if this works a little bit better. So I'll refresh on both sides so that we're all together. I will go ahead and open the message on Zach's side and I want you to watch over here. So I'll send a message and now you can see that it is unread. So I'll click it, it goes away. Now I want you to watch over here. So I'll send a message and then now you can see the unread icon. So what happens when I click inside of the chat text box? It goes away now, just as expected. So now we have the ability to see when a message is unread and as long as you're not the person who sent the message. All right, that's the end of this video. In the next video, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and set up the ability to create new chats with other users. And that's actually gonna be the final video. So the next video will be the final one. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.